Good day, my friend and friends. How the heck are you? Welcome back to Poland and uh, Sophie and I's uh, Polish adventure here on the farm. I tell you, we're busy. We've been busy. We kind of been globetrotting, you know. We've uh, been working our farms, and we're, we're a little tuckered. We are a little tuckered. So we got some help as I am up here in our barn. I'm just trying to get ready for cows and trying to figure out what the best course of action is and what uh, everything is all about. But that's what I'm kind of doing up here. Anyways, um, as you can see, we are negative 19,993 bucks. Holy crap. Down to the dealership, a nice guy, Ken Jorgensen, he runs the dealership down there, and he said, hey, you know what? Uh, you're looking for a truck? I said, yeah, I'm looking for a truck to haul my bales and a little trailer. I'll tell you what, you got some money coming in soon. I'll, I'll let you demo it, and then if you like it, you can buy it. So I thought, hey, that's a heck of an idea. That's a heck of an idea. So we basically pretty much bought the truck, but we have to pay them 19, you know, we're in the hole. So we got to get that up. But we have good news. We have good news, my farm and friends. We have done some serious contracting. Serious, serious contracting. And we did... Um, a sewing contract, we did, let's see, two sewing contracts, a fertilizing and two cultivating. You probably saw a little montage of that in the beginning, plus we fertilized our own um, Sophie's Wacky Tobacky. So, I was down at the pub last night, and I ran into some other English-speaking folks. Um, yeah, you wouldn't believe it. JT and Mama, a couple, a couple, JT and Mama. And uh, they were telling me that they're originally from the United States. So I thought, hey, that's not too bad. And they're over here, they're kind of looking for work, and I said, you know, I'm kind of looking for some good, good people, too. And they said, yeah, we've been out of work for a while, and, well, terrible, terrible. They, they um, had frostbite in their sphincters. Yeah, it was, a, it was a terrible, terrible thing that happened to them, but they recovered, so they're ready to go. So we got, we got them uh, hired, and one is up there cultivating, and the other one is sewing. Those are the two active contracts for um, Dick Auger. Now, we're using his equipment, um, so we don't have our equipment up there. But anyways, let's, um, let's collect our money here, so we can collect that one. We can collect that one. We, oh, we've, been, we've done a lot of work. Collect that one, collect that, and collect that. Okay, so we have t we still have two active, and they're up there working on that now. So that leaves us at 59,102. But here's the problem. Our uh, potato warehouse facility that they are in the process of building right over there next to our pig farm, once that is done, we have a bill of $67,000. So holy crap. we gotta, we got to make some more money. Now, Sophie is across the road here she is busy planting our uh, potatoes in those fields that we leased so she's got one done she's working on the second one right over there so that's exciting stuff i have to bring her potato seed now now in a while but here's a truck and trailer that the uh ken jorgensen down at the dealership let us uh, demo and well bought, pretty much bought let's just say we bought the damn thing but i was leaking oil a little bit so i have the hood up there trying to figure out where the leaks were i, I just added some oil and this little old trailer that he found in a, in a junkyard uh, I got that here. So this is our bales. So we're going to take these down and sell them. Now, I've, oh, crap, there's Sophie needs some. Sophie needs some more seed. Oh, I guess, just, what I'm get, just what I'm getting ready to get going. I got to bring her some seed. Um, let me run down there, give her some seed, and I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, got Sophie filled up with potato seed. I have a couple pallets down there, so I just got to bring them to her. But let's see. I think it's going to run. I think it's going to run. Uh, I probably should uh, close the hood there. Oh, no, wrong, wrong thing. Oh, crap, get back there. Get back there. Uh, close the hood. There you go. Okay. Automatic close the hood. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? It's a, it's a fancy truck. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's a, it's a dandy truck. I mean, it's in good shape. It's been refurbished, you know. I'm, I'm kind of liking it. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the barn with our silage bales. And we'll see if we make any money off of these, uh, the sale of these bales. That's a good looking truck. This is a monster truck. People are going to see me coming. They're going to get the hell out of the way. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. We'll head down to the barn. And uh, we'll sell these bales. I'm going to come back. I'll probably get one more load yet tonight before uh, it gets a little bit too dark and then we can finish this up in the morning. Because the other thing I'm thinking of, um, once we get this done, we got to get that potato warehouse paid for $67,000. We're only short. Uh, okay, the only short eight thousand bucks. Plus, we have the two contracts that they're going to finish up tonight, uh, JT and Mama. So, I hope they got some ice packs to sit on in their sphincters. I mean, could you imagine a frostbit sphincter? Oh, man, that would just, uh, that'd be terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh, head down there. That noisy little piece, isn't it? Whoa, oh, easy around the corner here. And we'll get one load sold. And this should bring in some money, too. Maybe after this, we can pay for our potato warehouse barn. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to have uh, well, three fields of potato, four fields of potato. Uh, seven, eight, nine. So three, one, seven, eight, nine. Three fields of potatoes. So, and then we're going to uh, process them. We're going we're to wash them. 
and then we're going to turn it into premium potatoes, you know, sort of thing. So I'm looking forward to that. That should be a good money maker. Plus our uh, wacky tobacco, Sophie's wacky tobacco, is uh, growing good. Come on, buddy. I'll oh, pass it. Look at that. The old beast is passing the little freeze puddle. Yeah, look at that. There he goes. Anyway, just get down to the barn and um, hopefully I can find my right, right way. Hey, yeah, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. I tell you what, I like this truck. This is a good buy. This is a darn good buy. Twenty-seven thousand, I think. The trailer is only fifteen hundred bucks. So um, not too shabby at all. Now it is now ours, I guess, because we did um, make that. Let's see. We we'll passed the uh, Ken Jorgensen here at the store, and then we gotta find the barn down here somewhere. Um, let's see. Anybody see a barn? Anybody see a barn? Where's the sign say barn? Barn? I just stopped in the middle of the road. Hey, don't care. I'm a tourist. Uh, no, I think it's down farther. I think it's down farther. Ah, traffic's kind of light here today. Yeah, shut the door. There you go. We're in here. Traffic is light. Let's see. I think it's got to be even close, I think. I certainly don't want to get... Uh, lost around here. I have a hard time getting turned around. Oh, it must be up here. Ah, there it is. I think that's it. I think that's it right there. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. I can get somewhere. I can do it. I can do it. Okay, let's see. That's, uh, oh, what's the best way to do it? I wonder, I wonder if they have a drive through spot. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, you're closed? Look at that! They're closed! Hey, shut up, dog. Ooh, I'm gonna get back in the truck before I get eaten. Uh, I didn't bring a steak with me. Holy crap, they're closed. Well, I guess I'll have to drive back home, <laughs> drive back home and uh, wait for tomorrow. Uh, nobody else to come pick me up. Everybody is uh, everybody is busy. What time do they open? I'm look at that, too. Uh, 8 o'clock. They open at 8 o'clock. Okay. Well... I guess I'll come back at 8. So I guess there's nothing else I can do for tonight. Um, I can't load up another load until, uh, let's see, how am I can get turned around and go in the woods there? Look at that. That was a little sketchy. Um, I'll see you at 8 o'clock in the morning. I should have planned this better. Well, I got up here about 15 minutes early, just waiting for them to open up. 7.58 in the morning. It's another beautiful morning here on the Polish farm. I tell you, um, we did get paid for the two contracts we did, so we are up to 87000 Like I said, sixty-seven has to go to our potato warehouse. But, oh, they're open. Oh, crap, they're open. And we do have JT and Mama out there doing a sewing, two sewing contracts. So, and that uh, Dick Auger set that up with his own equipment, so that's kind of exciting. We're going to drive by there and check them out after we sell some bales here. But here's what I'm thinking, my friends. Oh, I, I was talking to some locals, and then... Uh, there's a big onion craze. You know, and, Ro and Sophie and I had onions and rustic. And holy schnickies. That was some good money. I think I can go right over the gate here in the back and through the uh, barn. So, there is a field near us. Field 45. It's a big one. It's a big one. And uh, to lease that field, 25000 bucks. And man, if we could do that and plant some onions in there, ho, ho, ho. We, we, we could really get ahead. So, I'm considering it. But we gotta get a, I gotta have to get a bigger uh, I have to get a bigger potato sailor. So let's see. I gotta get this squared away here. So let's do the uh, truck. I gotta take off those tarp straps. I gotta do that. Come on. Whoa! I got bales flying everywhere. What's going on here? Oh, they're still selling. Okay, keep going. Uh, Two hundred and twenty bucks a bale, maybe? Is that what I'm getting? I don't know. Why aren't you? Why aren't you taking my bales? Are they up too high? Let's try the trailer here. Stupid stuff. Oh, there they go. Ah, the trailer went just fine. I got one bale sitting there. Well, let's just uh, let's see. We gotta figure this out. I used to know all this stuff. Um, I don't want to unfold the truck. Uh, What's going on here? Holy crap, look at that. Um, there we go. Okay, we got them all loaded. Oh, thank God I took care of it. So, um, about 
220 bucks a bale. Hey, you know, that's not, that's not bad. So, I kind of figured that out. I, I think I had it, I think I had it a little bit higher than that. So with all our bales, I think we, we could generate about $31,000 of income in our bales. Let's see, we have a bag up this way. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check on JT and Mama. And I'm gonna see how they're coming along here. Here you go, 50 years. So we're gonna have to take the second, uh, man, that truck is loud. We'll take the uh, second uh, right up here to go by and check on them. One is planting potatoes, and the other one is planting uh, cabbage, I believe. So I think that would be a good goal. I think we should really consider trying to um, get into the onion business. Forty-five is a big field, and uh, twenty-five thousand dollars to uh, to lease that farm. But man, could you imagine? I think I think the amount generated, the income generated off that uh, off those onions, could produce some very good income for the farm, and could well establish us in getting uh, set up here with cows. And, and other stuff, so I, I think I think it's a good I think it's a good uh, good investment. We'll, when we get back to the farm and I get another load. We'll uh, check on that and see what the onion prices are. I, I know back in Rustic when we did our onion harvest, holy crap, man, we were uh, raking in the dough. Let's see. Um, somebody's in traffic. Uh oh, somebody's stuck in traffic. Um, we should be up here shortly. I think JT is up here. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, he's down there. There he is. He's down there. I think that's JT down there. Mama must be up here a little bit. Let's get off the road here. Um, yeah, he's down there planting. Oh, there he goes. Uh, yeah, so he's at work. That's good. I, I like having people at work. Um, sorry about that car. I'll just go around the tree here. Just don't mind me. Don't mind me. Somebody's in traffic. I hope Mama's not. I hope Mama's not stuck in traffic. That wouldn't be good. How do you get stuck in traffic in a field? That's what I want to know. Holy buckets! Let's see. I gotta keep going straight here. Oh no! Oh wait. I wanted to go. Um, ah, we'll keep going around here. Yeah, I wanted to go the other way. Is that a road? I think. I think that's a road. Oh crap! The road blocked off. Uh, oh, what they got going on here? That doesn't look good. That does not look good at all. Garbage debris. What the heck is going on around here? Oh, they're fixing the road. Look at the map on. Oh, yeah, they're fixing the road there. Look at that. I'm going to turn around anyways. Um, get back on the right road here. Holy crap, all kinds of stuff going on down here. Road torn up. That's what it is. Road tore up. On the road again. Got back on the gun on the right road here. I think I'm on the right road. You know, some of these back roads here in Poland, they're kind of uh, treacherous. They're kind of um, sketchy, you can see it. But... I think I gotta figure it out. And this, this, oh crap. This truck can handle anything. Yes, truck can handle anything, my friends. We're gonna get up here and check on Mama. And then we're gonna go back and get another load of bales and we'll get them sold. So, that's a real big thing to look into is how much money we can put into this onion prospect. And, because we're definitely gonna need anything better. Something sitting out there in the middle of the field. And, um, definitely gonna need it. So, Mama, where are you? Where are you, Mama? Oh, she's been in the field down there. She's on field 28 up here. Yeah, I want you to say hi to her. Make sure she's okay, doing well. Yeah, I think she's driving a vulture to be honest with you. She's planting potatoes. <laughs> she's planting. She got stuck planting potatoes with a little potato, um, a potato planter. Let's see. There you go. She'll be coming down the hill up here. But holy crap, look at that. All kinds of effective designs going on here. But potatoes are good. Mama likes planting potatoes. Yep, she does. She, um... She really does enjoy it, but that's what she's doing, planting potatoes on field 28. Not too bad. Not too bad. Well, yeah, she's okay. Good enough coming down the hill here. Um, so I think with that said, I'm going to get back in another load of bales. I'm just going to keep selling bales. I'm going to keep selling bales. Um, don't need to see me drive up and down the road selling bales. And then we'll see what we make after that. And then... Um, kind of go from there. Kind of go from there. But I'll, I'll check back with you. There she comes. After a while. This really is getting to be like taking candy from a baby. I'm telling you, the, the Dick Auger has got us working so much. JT was up here. He did a spraying contract. I just brought him some dinner. Uh, and he's going to finish this up. I think he's just about done. Matter of fact, I think the contract's already been satisfied. 
But he was up here doing a contract on 108. We are way up here, my friends. We are um, way up here in the corner. Here we are right down here. 108, a huge, huge field. But uh, he wanted to do a contract on there, and it paid, <laughs> it paid big bucks. I need to get my tractor going here. It paid big bucks. So, hey, if he wants to work, I'm more than happy to uh, let him work because we are sitting pretty darn good, my friends. We got a 101000 Whoa, what happened? Oh, easy there, buddy. $101,000 in the bank. We got all the bales sold. Made a good chunk of change, and we have three contracts that we have finished up. This huge one on 108. And uh, come on there, Treasure. 74000 I think this one paid. I don't know. We didn't use our own equipment. We used their big guy stuff. So it doesn't take as long. But he finished that up, and then we got... Um, I think we got two sewing contracts done. We got the potato potato con. We did a potato contract, so uh, Mama was out there doing that and got that all wrapped up. And uh, Sophie finished our potato harvest. So we're actually sitting pretty good. We are sitting very good. And I, I, you know, it's a lot of contract work. Dick Auger has us busy, but it is paying off, my friends. It is paying off. We have to pay sixty-seven thousand to the construction company that built our potato uh, washing plant. So we got we got to pay that, and. Uh, 25000 like I said, would uh, cost to uh, lease, um, let's see, am I going the right way here? Uh, yeah, a little bit more. Cost to lease that field 45, and then we got to get some kind of a planter to get uh, onions in there, but that would be a gold mine. That would be a gold mine. Holy crap, would that be a gold mine. So I'm going to head back to the farm. Once we get these, whoa, crap, this is muddy road. I'm sure I'm glad I got the new Holland up here. I'm going to have to give this thing a bath. The windshield is just absolutely dirty. And uh, I, I wanted to drive up here, and I wanted to bring him dinner. And then I also wanted to drive up here and see what it was like. I haven't been up in this neck of the woods. Beautiful country, beautiful area. A lot of big fields up in this corner. I mean, a lot of big fields. We'd have to have uh, massive amounts of uh, big equipment to uh, get anything down here. I don't know what that is there. There's somebody's little farmstead there. I think it must be. Must be. I tell you what, there's all these little farms all over the place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I think that is a farm. Um, yeah, it's a cow farm. It's a cow farm there, so that's pretty cool. But well, we'll get back to the farm, we'll go get on the computer, and we'll see if we can get that leased. Then we'll try to get a uh, cedar, well maybe I should just head down to the, well I guess, yeah I gotta get the contrast, get on the computer, get that. I gotta pay the 67000 and we'll do that. And um, I don't think we'll have enough money to be buying a big cedar. I, we, we just don't, and 45 is a big field. So I need, ah, put on some fuel while I'm here. I might as well do that, stop at the shell station here. I like the Shell Station. It's a nice, it's a nice store. I go here every once in a while, and uh, we'll fill that up real quick. Put my credit card in there, and that'll be good to go. Might as well fill it. Holy crap! I gotta get this tractor serviced. I better do that before I get busy planting with it. There you go. Holy crap! Two hundred and forty-two bucks. Uh, Biden must be president. Fuel prices have gone up, and we gotta go straight here and uh, cross the tracks and get back to the farm. But we'll do that. Get on the computer. We'll pay off the sixty-seven thousand of the construction company. Maybe I'll show you that warehouse. Get down to the store, pick out a cedar that we can uh, plant onions with, and that, that'll work with this uh, this tractor. And we'll kind of go from there. Alrighty then. I just paid off the sixty-seven thousand dollars for our potato warehouse, which is sitting. Oh crap! I should have walked over there and told you that. Uh, just do a little jogging here. I like jogging. I like jogging. I get. I get. Get out. Yeah. Get my jogging suit out. And we'll head over there. Yeah, right here. Uh, right next to the uh, pig farm is our potato wash plant. So we got that paid off. We still have 32233 bucks in the bank. We did have 102 But here we have our potato washer out front, which is our potato storage facility here, right next to the pig farm. So we're kind of like right there, and then right over there is the farm. This was that little grass field that we didn't know what to do with. So we have our potato washer there, and then inside... We have got the potato storage, so we can store potatoes, and then we can run them through these uh, potato sorters, and they're gonna make, they're gonna get all the bad ones, and we're gonna sell premium, premium potatoes. So that's a pretty good thing, because if you look, if you look at it, and let's let's go look at potatoes here real quick. All the way, see premium potatoes. I mean, right now, seventeen forty-four a ton compared to washed potatoes, only nine, well, a thousand bucks. So there's more money in the uh, premium potatoes, but. Onion. I'm going to show you onion. We've been making good money on Rustic. Onion. Here we go, onion. Look at this crap. 13700 a ton. Woo! I mean, I tell you, we'll, we'll be able to retire after we do some onion harvesting. So, 
So with that said, I, so we do have, let's see, 32000 in the bank. And then uh, let's go in and do our contracts here real quick. So here's here's that fertilizing one. Wow, we did lose 11000 Um Holy crap. And then we did a potato sowing contract for 34 and then a sowing foot. We're making huge money by doing these contracts. So we have 148000 in the bank. I mean, this is way more money than I thought we'd have at this time. But it's been a lot of work. So I was looking at cedars, onion cedars. Um... They do have this fancy dancy one down at the dealership. Ken Jorgensen brought it up to me. This Novak T Force, but one hundred and sixty thousand for that thing. Can you believe it? And it does plant onion. Um, I kind of like the uh, Convernland. I like the Convernland, but I don't. You know, it. it um, I have to take a look at it. That's one hundred and thirty-eight thousand. I mean, that would be that would be the we'd be ten thousand. You know, we, have, we we can buy it. But the problem is, it, it goes off here. So I'm assuming, does it plant onion? I'd have, to, I'd have to double check that. I'm assuming it does, because I think it just ran out of room here. I don't know why, it just ran out of room. Um, the only downfall of that thing is it does not fertilize as it goes. But that's 12 meters, and it's only 230 horsepower. Now, they do have a 6 meter, which is half the size for, well, less than half the price that plants onion. And that's six meters. I mean, it's going to take us a little longer, but we could buy this and this and still have money in the bank. So it's a good question between 12 meters at 138 or... But look at the look at the horsepower difference. This one only takes 230 horsepower, and this one takes 260. Why does this one take more horsepower than that one? I, I don't I don't get that at all. Plus double. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking this is this one. I'm kind of thinking going with this one now. Oh, you could put a front hopper. Well, that's only seeds. That's only seeds, though. I don't think he put fertilizer in there. And it won't. No, I, I, I wish this one did. See, this one, um, I didn't tell you what it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call and check on this one and see if, the, I mean, this one, we could we could be able to do all kinds of things. I think we could plant our wacky tobacco with this one, too. And uh, we do own a, we do own one. Um... Well, we, we do own this one. We are planting our wacky tobacco and our onions with this one. Uh, we could sell that, make a little bit of money, but I'm gonna I'm gonna double check on this one if we can do onions and wacky tobacco, and then uh, kind of go from there. But that's where we stand. That's our potato warehouse, so it's all ready to go. Potatoes are in the ground; they're growing. Um, actually, one is one just the last one she did today said planted. The other ones are growing, so we we do have germination on that. That's kind of exciting stuff. But I'll go back there. I'm gonna call the store, call Ken, and see what's going on, and we'll find something and get this all sorted out and uh, get busy. Alrighty, my friends. It's amazing how fast money can just dwindle out of your pocket, isn't it? <laughs> we are now negative. We 18,000 bucks in the hole. We had 148. I did uh, call Ken down the dealership. We did buy the Convernland 12 meter cedar because it does plant wacky tobacco. It does plant onion. It plants almost everything that we're gonna grow. So this is gonna be our new cedar. We lease this field, field 45. It is a big one. And this is going to be onions. And uh, this might be a downfall. This might be a downfall. This is going to take quite some time to uh, get done. But we're going to go with it. And I'm going to start tonight. I think we're going to go in shifts. I think we're going to go in shifts. Um, so we'll kind, we'll kind of go with it. We have, we have the thing full of onion. We're planting the onions. But this, I think this, this is going to pay off for us, man. This is going to pay off uh, big time. Big, bigly. This is going to pay off bigly. But, in the meantime, i got to figure out how to get the balance back up above zero. Because the guy leases this land. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy crap! That was a flock of mosquitoes I just swallowed. And we made arrangements down at the bank. We weren't borrowing any money. <coughs> it's like a short-term payday loan kind of thing. You know, we gave him a check. And we have, like, practically until tomorrow morning to uh, pay it off. So, we're going to go with it. So, I'm going to look and see... Um, if there's any contracts that we can do, let's see, we can do a cultivating on field 75. Well, <coughs> God, that, <coughs> the mosquitoes are still alive. They're coming back up my throat. Oh, crap. Cultivating on 75. Well, 75 is, uh, you know, the number, oh, shoot. Look at that. That's a huge cultivated job. Um, but it's 26, 16. That'll give us close. I could send somebody up there. We could do that, use their machinery. Um, we could do that, but there's no other big one to do tonight, overnight. Um, 
Yeah, that one fertilizing one we did was the biggest one that I've ever seen on here. Um, maybe we'll take that. Maybe I'll do two of them. I'll send um, JT and Mama out. So maybe we'll do those two contracts. I suppose we could. Um, yeah, we'll probably do that. I'll get that set up and uh, go from there. But look at this. That's a Danny plant. That's a Danny cedar, my friend. This is going to work out pretty good. We're going to have to. We're going to have to do some contract work to uh, save up enough money because we got to. We got to lease an onion harvester. I mean, I'm not. I, I swear, I am not uh, doing a small little sick. We're going to get a self-propelled thing and go nuts because this field is huge. It, it pretty much the, it follows our grass field here off to the left, so. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. This is... Um, I'll have this done tonight, though. There's no big deal. I'll have this done tonight. Um, yeah, Field 45, we leased. So, Field 45, yeah, look at this. It's right here. Yeah, it's, it's bigger than our grass field. And uh, here's where I started. I am just up here now at the moment. So, maybe halfway around. Get back down here is one round. So, it'll, it'll be a while. It'll be a while. We'll, we'll get that done and uh, kind of go from there. But anyways, um, I think that's going to be the plan for the rest of the night. We're going to get a couple contracting work done. We'll have them done so then we can collect them in the morning when I see you next. And I'm going to keep working on this and we're going to get this baby planted. And I, I, I know we spent $138,000 on the cedar, but this is going to go a long way. This is all we need uh, until we get the onion. I mean, can you imagine how much money we're going to have from onions? I mean, it'll be, it'll be really interesting to figure out, but we'll have her done. So we'll get this planted. And we'll kind of go from there. But I'll leave it there for today. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're feeling well. I hope you're feeling well, staying safe and healthy. Things are kind of crappy here. I, I tell you what, it, it, go, it goes in like a roller coaster. But um, you stay safe and healthy and keep them between the ditches, my friends. So long.